Now for the six ring of magnets, this is the direct field. You can see it's attracting everywhere, and this is the reverse field. It's repelling right in the middle. Now if we go over to an eight ring of magnets, this is the direct field. It's attracting all around the outside. And again, there's just a big hump of reverse field right in the middle. Next, we're going to try a ring of eight 50 millimeter magnets with a 60 millimeter magnet hovering over it, repelling. And we're going to see what we can do with this system. Next, if we put an insulation paper, an aluminum spiral, and a 60 millimeter magnet over this ring of eight magnets and turn the current, you get fairly weak lift. Next, if we put a sheet of iron above those eight magnets with insulation paper and then the spiral and put the 60 millimeter magnet again, well, now we get quite a big lift. We've about doubled or tripled the lift effect we saw before. We take the iron off and look at the lift of this little test series of magnets, also quite small. Next, if you put a sheet of iron above those eight magnets with insulation of paper above and put that same little test magnet, now we get really about twice as much lift effect as we saw before. It's quite a reasonable effect. Now we go to a ring of 12 magnets. This is the direct field all around here. And this is the reverse repulsive field in the middle. There's just a big hump of repulsion right in the middle. It's hard to put anything down there. And we're going to see what we can do with that now. When we use a ring of 12 magnets as shown below here, insulation paper and a spiral, we have to go to a 100 millimeter magnet to see an effect because the field is bigger on the outside. We can't use our 50 or a 60, and this is with no iron. 100 millimeter ring magnet. So that very heavy rotor in this ring of 12 magnets sits with six magnets floating above. So it's already floating. Let's see what happens when we add an aluminum spiral. Now when we add an aluminum spiral insulation paper over the same ring of 12 magnets, we put the six magnets as a very heavy rotor. We go up and down quite nicely. So we're really lifting quite a lot of weight here at the hover position by putting an electromagnetic field. The reverse field and the electromagnetic field are adding together to lift this thing up a bit higher than it was before. It's a very significant result. Now for a ring of 16 magnets, there's a strong direct field all around on the outside. Then you get a reverse field on both sides. In the middle, strong reverse field in the middle, there's almost no field at all. You put a 60 magnet out of the direction as a neutral field. It's like a donut. The reverse field becomes like a donut. Direct, reversed, nothing, reverse, direct for this big ring of 60 magnets. Now for the final experiment of the day, we have a ring of 16 magnets at aluminium disc with 640 millimeter magnets on it hovering up there. We put current one way, it just shoots down quite strongly. This is reverse field levitation. And when we reverse the leads, now it shoots up quite strongly. So the permanent magnetic field here is repelling that field. It also is repelling any field that's induced in the spiral. It's quite a big effect and well worth taking notice of.